yes, that is basically before this one of the things that most of Malaysians are worried about. So um, since we are talking about you know, doing sports in the morning and taking care of our health, now with us uh, we have Dr. Nabil Haji Idris that will talk and speak to us more on how to curb this disease. So good morning, Doctor. How are you morning, feeling today? Good. Well, it's not really uh, nice to talk about heart attacks on New Year's Eve, but I think it's a good time to actually remind people about how important it is to take care of your big heart. So, Doctor, tell us a bit about uh, heart attacks, basically. Is it still the number one condition in Malaysia? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Terence. Thank you for inviting us. Um, yes, it is very much still the, the number one killer in Malaysia. Um, it's an understatement to say it's, uh, it's a, a major killer because now we're seeing more and more young people, uh, those in their 30s and 40s, uh, infected with the disease. Um, we're seeing uh, just, just within 10 to 15 years, the past 10 to 15 years, we're seeing younger patients coming in. Um, we used to get 50, uh, 50 year old and 60 year old, but now we're getting uh, you know, 30 year old, 40 year old. So it is a, a, a major uh, catastrophe to us. Uh, there's something is not right the way we are living today. Yeah. Um, okay, so since um, you mentioned earlier, earlier on was the uh, older generation and now the uh, younger ones are actually um, having this kind of problems with their hearts. So can you maybe describe to us what are we actually doing wrong right now? Um, we, maybe we can see uh, other countries, the, the, the developed countries, those who have uh, been here longer than us. Um, um, back in the 70s, the, the heart disease is uh, quite a, a big problem to them. Um, the rate of uh, myocardial infarction and heart disease is increasing. But from the 70s to 80s, the rate of heart disease has come down. Um, All right, and they, uh, doctor, uh, just before we carry on though, I understand flagging off is already ready to take place. Uh, so we might be actually crossing over to Zamil and Ariel again for a quick update. Over to you, Zamil. Well, it's not really a marathon. The marathon is <laughs> 42 kilometers. This is five kilometers. So if you start yes. walking, chances are you're not going to win. Yes. <laughs> so start running. Bring so it, start bring running. It. But as I mentioned, it's a fun run. So do it at your own pace. Uh, and I do believe the next couple of categories are ready to be actually flagged off. And we have a special yes. guest to flag off the uh, other categories. The main prize is 3,000 ringgit, I believe. Uh, so I do think we're ready to go back to Zamil and Ariel uh, to actually flag off the next or the final two remaining categories. So let's uh, go over to Ariel and Zamil again. Thank you guys and leading by example there our boss Yang Berhormat Dr. Sri Utama, Dr. Rais Yatim, Minister of Information, Communications and Culture in Malaysia and he's sprinting. <laughs> Check it out. Yes. I mean, leading by example sir, thank you very much. <laughs> and you know, I, I think that all of us should join in the run. I mean, if we weren't hosting, we'd be there, right? We can go there still after this, Terence. We should. We should. <laughs> we should. I'm, yes. all, I'm ready for it. So coming back, we're talking about heart attacks and yes. how it's a syndrome here in Malaysia mm. really and how people are getting heart attacks at a younger age. Uh, it's quite scary. Yes. So we have a good doctor in the house still. Mm. Uh, doctor, you're talking a bit about our lifestyle and obviously running is good, um, but what are we doing wrong? Sophia asked you that question earlier and you alluded to some of the things that we're doing wrong. So please do carry on, doctor. Yes, uh, before the break I've been talking about uh, the, the experience of other countries, the ones that statistically speaking they've been here before us um, and we're seeing that the decreasing trend of uh, heart attack, heart disease, myocardial infarction, the, the trends are decreasing in as much as 50%. So these are the uh, evidence that we can do something about this. There's um, a lot of evidence uh, telling us that uh, we are uh, um, uh, having uh, too, too many uh, risk factors that we're not being able to control. We're smoking too much. So smoking, uh, type 2 diabetes, hypercholesterolemia, high cholesterol, hypertension, family history, they're all uh, categorized as, as the major risk factors for heart disease. And uh, we can do something about this. We can prevent it. We can identify it early in the population and, uh, and try to reduce the risk. 
and reducing at the same time reducing the risk of uh, getting a heart attack okay. uh, at a very early age. So uh, maybe most of us are having busy lives and all that. So some may not know what their conditions are. So maybe you can share with us what are the maybe the first few symptoms that one should take note on um, to not face this yes, problem yes. later on. Maybe before I talk about the, the mm -hmm. acute coronary syndrome uh, proper, okay. um, there are certain conditions, the risk factors that I mentioned about, mm -hmm. um, with uh, symptoms that they can take heat. Um, especially type 2 diabetes, uh, you know, early on they might get uh, um, symptoms uh, such as uh, uh, polyuria, we call it polydipsia. Uh, you have increase in appetite or taking a lot of food, uh, but your weight remains static, or uh, you have decreasing in weight. These are early symptoms of uh, type 2 diabetes. Um, and uh, and then um, hypercholesterolemia. Sometimes they have a family history of uh, early heart disease. Mm -hmm. Those who have uh, their first degree relatives, their, their uh, parents or their grandparents who had a heart heart attack at a very early uh, age, less than 55 years old. Um, these are the warning signs. These are the patients that we want to uh, screen early. I see. Uh, and. Um, we can do something about this. Uh, we, we know that type 2 diabetes is increasing in not just in our country, all the developed countries, developing countries. And uh, we know that through uh, many studies, we know that we can halt the disease, we can prevent it, even prevent it for those with, uh, with uh, uh, um, obesity, those with um, uh, high uh, overweight, um, for those who are eating too much. Uh, uh, and especially type 2 diabetes, we, 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 we're able to do something. We can uh, change our lifestyle. For example, uh, uh, exercise has been, has been shown better than drugs to reduce your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. And from, from these risk factors, cigarette smoking, type 2 diabetes, you will be able to prevent a heart disease. Uh, coming back to your question, the, f the first symptoms will be um, uh, severe chest pain, the worst chest pain you've ever felt, you, uh, and uh, associated with nausea and vomiting and sweating. Um, some patients might not be very lucky, about 5 to 10 percent of patients who presented might not survive the first heart attack. So this is the message you want to, to get across to the public. Get yourself checked early for the risk factors so that we can prevent um, these patients in their 30s to 40s in their productive years to come with a debilitating illness. Um, and subsequent to that, those who survive, uh, um, a high percentage of them might develop complications from the heart disease. They might, might end up with a weak heart, which is a major determinant of your lifespan. Cut short your lifespan, about 50% of them will, will die within the, the next five years. So that's why we're we're really serious about this. This is a, a major uh, catastrophe to us and we can do something to change the situation. Uh, uh, Dr. Where can people go really to get information, come forward and seek for help? Is there a website or they just come in, into any hospital and ask for medical treatment? Yes, we have uh, the Ministry of Health uh, got a, a, a good uh, website. You can just type uh, Ministry of Health and got a lot. Uh, uh, loads of information about uh, heart disease and all the other risk factors and, and degenerative diseases we call it um, and, um, and um, you can get all the information from, from our um, widespread networks of clinics um, and more importantly take a, a step to, to better yourself and uh, to, uh, to come forward and not, in, not to be in denial about the, the disease. You know, half of us has got hypertension, you know, above 50s, I mean. Um, and go, go and get yourself checked. Don't self-treat yourself. Um, and uh, we can do something about this. We can uh, reduce the risk and get more information because uh, it is, we know that these diseases are irreversible. We know that type 2 diabetes, chronic kidney disease, the irreversible. That's that's the reason why we want to to, to uh, nip it in the bud. We we have to get 
to the disease before they get to us. Right. So we need to screen the patients who are at risk of developing these conditions. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Doctor, for being here on New Year's Eve with us. Uh, we wish you. you a happy New Year in advance. Thank you,